Hello everyone and welcome back to Witchinary. If you have yet to subscribe to this channel, then please do so because we're getting crafty and today I wanted to share with you guys my creations using the Simon Says Stamp 2019 April card kit called Hello Darling. I'm going to link to this kit below so you guys can totally check it out and all of the goodies that it brings. I am very excited for this kit guys. Um, this kit is very reminiscent of a card kit that came out in March 2017 and that card kit was very like a country, um, not a country chic but it was like country farmers market chic and I remember for that card kit I think I scowled all of YouTube just to find every single card that was made with that card kit and I just replicated the best ones that I found and I probably made like 20 card kits after I supplemented some of the supplies. I fell in love so now that I'm making my own cards I'm very excited to bring you guys what I can make with it. But anyway. You guys know my process if you've been around forever. You guys know that if I don't know what to do and there's pattern paper, I'm going to butcher the heck out of the pattern paper until I figure out what to do. I get inspiration from my destruction. It is what it is. Anyway, um, while I was doing this, I figured out that um, I knew what I was missing or what I wanted to do. And every stack of pattern paper, there's always one pattern paper that has a sample for every other pattern paper that comes in the stack. And this one didn't have it. So to remedy that, I took a scrap piece of cardstock and I decided to start layering strips on top of it until I had my perfect little paper. I cut it to be slightly smaller than an A2 size card um, base so that way there would be a nice little white border. And then I just go ahead and adhere that down to my card base itself, my card panel to my card base. I went ahead and I pre-cut all of my card bases from the card stock that came in this kit. So in case you guys are wondering where that's from, that's where it's from. While doing this, I realized that this kit is perfect if you're like a beginner because honestly you can take a bunch of those little squares that came in the pattern paper and just literally go to town making cards with just that. To break up the busyness of this um, card panel, I decided to adhere my little square to a piece of mint cardstock from Paper Source. Now here's where I'm going to advise you. Definitely don't use foam squares if you're going to use glossy accents on top. Um, the glossy accents warps the paper underneath and for whatever reason I didn't think about that ahead of time. I don't think things through apparently, that's a thing. But um, yeah, I definitely didn't do it this time so my actual little rectangle ended up warping and I was very sad about it but too late to go back and I really like this card so I'm showing it off. I go ahead and I use glossy accents on my little hearts and that finished off this card. For my next card, I really loved this little pattern paper with all of the cute little chicks. I thought that it was very reminiscent of Easter without being too in your face. It would be perfect for spring as well, not just Easter. So I go ahead and I take out this um, twine that I had in my stash and I decide to use that strip that says it's your time to blossom from the pattern paper. I secure my twine down using some tape and then I just go ahead and start using some foam squares to raise up my actual sentiment um, onto my card panel. While I was looking through my stash for my twine, I noticed that I had some beautiful Pebbles Incorporated foam, um, foam stickers and they were like perfect for this card kit. So I was like, oh my god, what else do I have in my stash? I found a lot of cool things in my stash that I felt like I could probably use again and actually breathe new life into. And I was very inspired to like, you know what? I really should probably like at least every other week or like once a week just go into my stash, find one of these card kits that I really like that I want to revisit and just, you know, make a video out of it. And if you guys have it too and you guys want to tag me and um, you're wanting to breathe life into your card kits journey on Instagram. My Instagram handle is um, at Witchinary. I would love to see it too, but we spend way too much money to just have these card kits just lying around. And you know, as we get older and our craft becomes a little bit older, we become more seasoned and I'm pretty sure we can come up with new creative ideas. So why not? I adhere this panel down to a brown card base and that finished off this card. For my next card, I was inspired by one of the sticker um, sets that came in this card kit. 
the one with all of the sentiments and for a second I was like you know what I should probably just get a nice little piece of scrap cardstock and just layer all of these on top of that exactly how they are on the sticker pack because I really really like that um but then something was just like no girl that's too boring you don't know you know that you don't want to do that so I decided against it and now I kind of regret it but I just go ahead and I start adhering all of those down onto this beautiful piece of pattern paper and I raise some up with some foam squares. I just adhere some directly onto my card panel um, just to play around with dimension like I always do. I go ahead and I add a few of these puffy stickers just to give a little bit more texture and then I just go ahead and adhere that down to a card base literally just directly and that finished off this card. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. It, I just liked it. <laughs> For my next card, I really wanted to challenge myself to make a simple card. You guys know I struggle with this. Here is my, my challenge today. Um, and I really like the way that this came out, so I'm really happy that I did it. To start off, I just took a circle die so I can just have a shape because I wanted to use the stamp set for this card. To match the colors that came in this, um, in this kit, I decided to bring out some Distress Oxide inks and some Distress inks, as well as one Simon Says Stamp ink, and that is the Cotton Candy Simon Says Stamp ink. My Distress inks are Peeled Paint fossilized amber and stormy sky and I just brought out every distress brown ink that I had um, brown is always not a nice color to kind of ground everything back and there's always something so natural about brown they just kind of like I don't know it has a, a way like black to just unite things and I'm really I'm really understanding why so many people like the color brown again like I feel like I said that six months ago or something but it's true. I definitely can see why. Anyway, I go ahead and I just make some leaves out of the um, vintage photo distress ink and then I just go ahead and use one of the circle stamps to um, just give a little bit more definition of as to like where that circle is without it being too contrived. So I just go ahead and um, do that just because those are lighter. Wherever there's space, I just try to fill it in with um, another flower in the same sort of um, color set um, or color scheme. Um, I do go back and I use some of those circle little stamps to add um, just more defined color around this wreath. What I enjoy about this card, honestly, is that you can use any one of the actual stamps that came in this um, stamp set, um, or at least sentiment-wise, in the center, and it will really um, make a nice little card for whatever occasion you decide to send it for. Or you can even take one of the ones from your stash and just like put it in the center and bam, there you have it. I think if you change the colors but you still use this stamp set, you can even make like a Halloween card or even a Thanksgiving card or a fall card. It really is up to you with the possibilities. I take some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black ink and I just adhere this to the center with, or not adhere that, I stamp it down to the center with one of these sentiments and then I just go ahead and raise up my actual panel using the um, Sizzix Foam, I guess this is a foam, not a foam square, what is this? It's like a foam pad, you guys know what this is, well that's, that's what I'm using to raise it up. Once I do that, I decide to take out my Nouveau Drops in Oyster Grey an oldie but goodie of mine that I think I've mistreated because it's lumpy and once I go around my wreath to add a little bit of texture that finished off this card. I also made an envelope that's similar to this card to mail out and I even made an additional one with a sticker. For my next card, I decided to do a very simple, straightforward um, card. I think I've made a variation of this card many times. I just like the format of it. It's very easy. And the beauty of this layout is it really, the card itself takes the form or the theme or the feel of the pattern paper itself. So it's a good time to let the pattern paper shine. I decided to go ahead and just raise up two of these little panels. And then I decide that the um, floral pattern paper just did not look good across so I just cut it right at the um, three-quarter mark to let that yellow paper shine. 
I outlined the floral paper with some of this beautiful striped paper. That striped paper is like by far my favorite that came in this kit. And here we go again with making these mistakes. I don't know what dumb witch juice I was on <laughs> while I was making these cards, but I was just, I, I kept making these little mistakes here and there, but I'm gonna keep this card um, just because I actually do like the way that it came out, even though this gave me a horrible time stamping it down. There's just something about the it not really stamping that gave it a rustic sort of feel that I really enjoy. I go ahead and I take some of those puffy stickers and I try to make a little, um, just a little interest at the top right corner of my um, sentiment and I add that little um, arrow to my actual card from my sticker pack. I adhere this down directly onto a blue card base and then just to add a little bit more interest I decide to go ahead and use my Nuvo drops and I don't know what I did to my Nuvo drops. I don't think I love them. They really are like crusty. I have to replace this. You guys know that Oyster Gray is one of my favorite Nuvo drops so the fact that I can't use this anymore and that it looks so messy is really annoying me. So once I was done with that um, and trying to fix it, that finished off this card. For my next card, I want to say that this card started with good intentions, that it was going to be just this nice little gingham card with a similar um, feel and a similar build as the previous card. And it just turned out it just went for a loop that's all i gotta say so i adhere this gingham piece of um pattern paper to a brown card base and then i go ahead and i raise up um this one little panel but before i raise it up with my foam squares i strategically put these on the sides so i can add a piece of twine to kind of connect this card to the other cards that i've made um you guys know i'm a huge project runway fan and i like to make cards that look like they all belong together and a collection because I secretly believe I'm Tim Gunn and we got to make it work but that's just me on Friday nights when I'm alone eating Taco Bell anyway here's where it got crazy I added stickers to the bottom and I could have easily just added a nice little sentiment at the top of this or on the inside and I didn't I went ahead and I used some pretty f I think it's like pretty fresh pink studio um, hearts and Nouveau drops to just add more pizzazz and there you have it for my second to last card, I wanted to use that beautiful striped pattern paper and I had started working on a different card and I didn't like it so I put it aside and then I decided to come back to it. I have been really really into like the, um, the tag cards where there's like a tag in the center and I decided to do something similar by making a tag with a little bicycle and a different sentiment with the same colors that I had used for the wreath card um, in my earlier cards. So I go ahead and I decorate this the same way, same browns, same distress inks that kind of look Easter and spring-like. Um, and then I go ahead and I make a nice little double looped bow just for, you know, added, added pizzazz. You guys know how I do. So then I bring out my nice little patterned paper. I raise up my little tag using some foam squares and then I bring out my Nouveau drops in black just so I can add a little bit more um, pizzazz on the sides. And I take out those pretty, pretty pink fresh studio um, hearts that I've been hoarding and I add one to the center and that finished off this card. I'm gonna figure out what these are called by the way. If not, I'll link it below. For my last card, because this striped paper was just so pretty, I like I could not get enough of it. I wish I would have used it in more cards. Um, I decide to use that green pattern paper um, as my card base, and then I added the more um, smaller floral black paper to add a little bit more interest to my card. I adhere to the center of my green one, and then I just on top of that layer that banner using that um, beautiful striped pattern paper. I raise it up on foam squares and then at the center of it I decide to actually adhere that beautiful little um, hello um, 
pattern center thing that I had created off camera just playing around. Of course, to add this card to the rest of my collection, I make a little wreath which I adhere down to the center and I make sure that you can see it by just adding foam squares to the back of that to add extra dimension because I'm a dimension queen. And from one of the strips that I had already cut, I decided to take one of the stickers that um, I I love what it says, I just can't read it at the moment, but I just adhere that down onto that and then adhere um, that pattern paper onto the pattern paper and then I adhere this panel down to the card base. And before I can finish, because I completely forgot to add sentiments to the inside of these cards, I stamped this down using some Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink and that finished off this card. Well guys, that just about wraps it up for me. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope to see you guys soon. Take care.